So welcome back to Web Mockups for Photoshop. I have created the other artboards for this web mockup. I took a little bit of time here, so I wanted it nice and neat and pretty. I have all of them has their own guidelines as we have set up. If by chance you don't want to see these guidelines at all, just go to View and Clear Guides. And then what happens? It goes away. And if you want it back on again, just apply the new guide layout and then you can apply it again and say OK. That's probably the most easiest way to get rid of it. So each one is actually is fixed. I have the nav bar, the logos, and background photos. So I have gone in and fixed the pages accordingly when I copy and paste stuff. And so some of them may have an incorrect name, so I go I went ahead and fixed those. The great thing about creating Photoshop files as artboards is that we can actually sync this file to InVision. Using InVision is a great way of creating prototypes, interactive prototypes, with animation, gestures, and transition if you're writing a single line of code. It's also great to get feedback on your designs from either your customers or your clients for real-time input so you can instantly incorporate their ideas within the files. And also, if you want to, if you're not, if you're just creating these web interfaces, you can hand this offer to your web development team, where they'll turn your prototype into style sheets, pixel-perfect comps, and real code so your development team can start building. To do this, you just go to Window, Extension, and Sync. In the drop-down menu, you can create a new prototype. So click on the plus sign and create a name. And select, and select your account, mine is personal, and create prototype. Once you've done that, you can say what artboards you want selected or not. I'm going to say select them all, and I click on Sync. Okay, so it should only take a few seconds to upload to InVision. It all depends on how big your files are and how many artboards you have. Once you see the green check mark on to the left hand side, you can go ahead and click on open. So once I synced up my files here, I've noticed that my, my files are actually going from the top down. So I actually started with my landing page at the bottom and my last page was my thanks page. In this case, it's also showing the same thing. With InVision, InVision makes it very user friendly where you can drag and drop. So if I want my landing page to be the very first page, I can do that. So I'm gonna just do that right now. So I'm gonna make it a little more, more friendly for myself here. So give me a sec here, team, and content. So while I'm creating the Maya prototype, I'm gonna create some hotspots for my Marvel's Macaroons website. So I'm gonna click on home, not on landing page, but on my home page, just because I do have some nav bar that I want to use. Inside here, we have our website here. At the very bottom, we have preview mode, build mode, comment modes, inspect mode, as well as history mode. So the preview mode is what we see right now. To build mode, we can use create hotspot. So let's do that right now. So I'm gonna have a create a hotspot for this logo. So I'm gonna create, just click and drag. And in here, I could tell it where to go. So I'm gonna say this one will go to my home page. So let's go home page. And if I want, I can also make this as a template, include hotspot in a template. Let's do that. So click on that once. And you want to create on new. So this would be for logo. And click on save. Now, if you notice, it changed from blue to green. If it's blue, it's a one shot deal. If it's green, this will be a template. Click on save. Next thing we're going to do is for the home as well as for the rest of the pages. So I do it again for as a review. So I click on home, click my destination. Home screen, clear hotspot, I'm going to create a new, this will be called home, and save. I'm going to do the rest and I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so I've done all of the hotspots, I've created the templates, now we can go ahead and apply these to all the other pages. Currently I'm on the home page, so I'm going to go back one, so I'm going to click on preview, so I can go to the next page, and the way I can go to the next page. And now I'm going to go ahead and start building my other hotspot. So I'm going to click on build mode again at the bottom. And the top here is one hotspot templates apply, which is on the macaroons. So drop that down. And here we can actually click on all the other ones that we want to use. Okay. And beside here, there is a apply multiple screens. So we can actually click on that. And then on the very bottom, tell which page you want your template to be on. And once you're done with this, you click on done. You could do it for the rest of the pages. Just highlight them all. Just hold down the shift key, click on apply templates to all, and it will automatically temp it will automatically apply to it, and then click on done. So once you've applied your hotspots to all your pages, and if it didn't work, make sure you go through each page to make sure that every page will have a working nav bar. 
Because if it doesn't, then it looks pretty bad when you present this to your client. Now, if you notice here, I've go to my contact page. I do have a send message here, and unfortunately, it's not going anywhere. So I need to create another hotspot for this one too. So I'm going to go on build build mode, highlight my button, and I click on browse this time. I'm going to click on thanks. So that's another way of actually you know, directing where your page to go. I'm going to create a new, click create thanks, save. We have to create another page for the thank you page. So let's go back one to preview mode, go to my thank you page, go to my hotspots again, and again apply my my hotspots to my screens here. Okay, click on multiple screens, say okay, and click on done. So besides you have preview mode as well as build mode with creating hotspots, you also have comment mode. And anywhere you want to make a change to a file or anything like maybe up here, maybe the client wants a different color, the client may say change color to red. And they can hit send. Which is really nice to have because you actually all the changes or any comments that you have, it is, it is done in real time. Another great aspect of this is the inspect mode. So if you're handing this over to a web developer team, these are all the information that they have according to your artboards and your layers. So at the side here, it gives you the size, the opacity, maybe the color, um, the weight, and all that. And you can just have to, and if you wanted to, you can actually copy the code. So it's nice copy and paste it into your document if you need to. One of the key features here is if you want to see what time these changes were done, or if you need to go back one step or go back a few versions, click on the history mode, and it'll tell you what time these are working on. So if you notice, I've only done it two, two times, one at 1224, and one at 12. 1245.